Really much tervepä terve again. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Dynamic CRM uh, web API, which is a new interface for connecting to Dynamic CRM on premise or online. And this is going to be a uh, screencasting. So after this short introduction video, I'm next gonna show you how that is done in the in the uh, uh, computer screen. Okay, so in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use the Dynamics 365 Web API, which is uh, um, a new interface for connecting into Dynamics 365. Um, there is another way of connecting into that, of course, is the SOAP uh, web service. This is also called Organization Web Service. And um, that's uh, basically meant for uh, connecting from a .NET uh, based uh, client. But this uh, web API is based on the OData version 4. Uh, so it's not dependent on any kind of uh, programming language on the client side. And um, basically the developers are not required to use any kind of client libraries or uh, Dynamics uh, CRM assemblies for building and developing clients for the web API. So um, the scenario here is, uh, which I'm going to demonstrate, is such that uh, we actually faced this with one of the, our customer projects some time ago, that uh, we were implementing Dynamics 365 uh, on-premise for our customer and uh, there was a third party company who was implementing uh, a web uh, integration from a customer's website into Dynamics 365 and the uh, um, scenario was that from a web form um, user will fill up the form and then those are pushed into the CRM as leads and we needed to uh, or actually the third party company had some uh, problems into connecting to the CRM and, uh, and saving the leads uh, through the web API. So we used a tool call, called um, SOAP UI to test the web API uh, interface into CRM. And that turned out to be a very handy tool for uh, kind of like a testing and demonstrating for the for the third party that here's a way of connecting into that and this kind of script is the one that you need so i have uh, our uh, test environment crm here um, and uh, the soap ui tool which i mentioned the tool looks like this so i've already created a, a, a rest uh, project into this uh, to ready so that I can demonstrate to you how it's actually used. Um, so the SOAP UI is a tool which can be used for kind of like simulating or actually pushing web requests um, against the web services in different ways and here of course because the web API of Dynamics is uh, a REST based I'm going to do a REST request to the to the uh, resource uh, on the CRM CRM side. So on the top part, as you can see, I've selected the method to be post because we are posting the data over to the actual um, REST a web API, and the endpoint is the URL of our CRM server, and the resource part is the kind of like the tenant name, and then the web API. Uh, resource. Today we are going to use leads because we are posting the leads over to the CRM. And here's the actual script that I've already uh, uh, written here. So there are the basic attributes of leads in CRM as you can see. And the scenario here is as I mentioned that the uh, leads would be saved from a website into the, into the CRM. And of course, in, uh, when connecting to the CRM web services, there's an authentication. So in this scenario, we are going to use the Windows authentication as this is on-premise installation of the CRM. But it would work 
uh, very well with, against the online uh, Dynamics 365 as well. Of course, the authentication uh, method would be different, but here we utilize the uh, Windows authentication. And uh, I have an advanced find query here where I show you that we are going to search for leads that are created on today. So there's no leads at the moment uh, before we actually make the request over the uh, over to the web API. So when I actually uh, do the request, it's, it was quite quick and on the right side we can see the results as a raw uh, um, uh, codes and um, then we didn't get any errors so then we look at the advanced find again to check if there are the lead any leads and as you can see there's one lead created on today this is the uh, same data which we have on the script over there and if we open the lead and check the details there are the similar or, or the data actually which we had on the script over there in the SOAP UI for example the lead source is web the code for the for that would be eight I've hard-coded it there but uh, naturally when you do it from the web form you have the handling for these these uh, codes so this was uh, just a very simple scenario where we can easily demonstrate for any uh, third parties or customers how to use the web API of Dynamics 365 and uh, as mentioned I didn't need to use any kind of uh, Dynamics client libraries to make this request over to the web service the only things that I needed was the URL the resource authentication and the actual script so no uh, DLLs or anything were needed to make the request over to the to the web API so it's pure rest uh, as the O data is, is the standard that it's using. So thank you for watching and have a great day.